Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022 in Japan. This is the K1 Featherweight World Tournament at the Fukuoka Kokusai Center. I'm Russell Guru. And Nicholas Pettis. We have a K1 Lightweight fight coming up. This is Yuto Shinohara versus Yuki Yoza. Mm. Now, Shinohara kind of a bred uh, right into the K1 game uh, versus Yoza, and you can probably tell us more about this. Uh, this Nick, is the champ it, right yeah, there sitting there, there is. looking at it, Asakusa. Asakusa. He's actually had injuries, so that's why he's not fighting here today. Mm -hmm, right. But, um, Yuki Yoza, Coming Kyokushin from. champion. Ooh. They actually had a, a super fight, uh, him and uh, Asakusa. Asakusa, right, yeah. And Yuki won. So that's like a credit <gasps> dream match come true, right? Wow. So but Yuza now we're going up against the Shinohara, you yeah. know, who's a purebred uh, I'm the K1 guy. So it's this versus sort of uh, uh, K1 and the Kyokushin camp. He's also one of the only uh, K1 fighters that fights in trunks like that. Ah, okay. <laughs> or tights, I would call them, right? Yeah. Short tights, bicycle shorts kind of thing. I wonder why. Mm. Maybe the feeling of feeling free somehow. He's oh, strong, in the, yeah. <laughs> Shinohara has actually got a fantastic, like, um, you know, punch techniques, as you can see here. Nice. It really unloads really well. I'm just thinking, coming from Kyokushin background myself, that, yeah. you know, this tight guard is what we probably feel is a natural default kind of guard, too. Mm -hmm. And then probably going to, like, finish with a lot of low kicks somehow. Yeah, there is a plenty of guard there. There's a... See? Ooh. Yep. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's He's the... probably going to try and sneak in those low kicks. Although Yoza is coming forward, he's not punching it. Hmm. Just to, as you say, just... There you oh, go. Oh, there, there, you go. There, there we go. Nice. Interesting how he wants to take it into that really short distance. So he'll put pressure on Shinohara until he's up against the ropes almost and then starts unloading. Yeah, it's, it's not a lot of distance at all, is it? No. Mm. Super tight guard, almost like a Mike Tyson kind of guard. Mm. Mm. Without the peekaboo inside there. <laughs> distance from a karate background because that's the low kick I was looking for. That was fast. Kick too. Oh man, she don't want to step into the corner all by himself. Okay, so round one, that was it. There's Shinohara versus Yoza. So is, is Yoza bringing the game to Shinohara and, and by cornering him like that? No, I just think he's trying to find out and figure out what his best distance is. Because mm. he was taking, like, for the first minute, minute and a half, he was taking a lot of just, like, punches on his yeah, guard. Yeah. Which does no damage whatsoever, by the okay. way. Okay. Um, and just, like, kind of figuring out. Mm. But then he kept kicking the inside back leg low kick, and I was like, why? Yeah. You're not going to drop a guy with kicking the inside back low kick. This I can guarantee you. I've never seen it done. Nope. Yeah. It hurts. It, you know, it hurts, but it doesn't... It's not a deciding factor in a fight. Sure, sure. Unless you get him on the inside knee on the back leg, but you know, it's gonna be a fight, so no. Interesting what, uh, how Shinoha was kind of counter that, or what happened in the round one. Mm. <laughs> These are both 24 years old, yeah. Here we are, round two. Shinohara versus Yoza. Up 
See? Yeah. Again, slowly putting pressure. Wow. We should have unleashed something there at least. Yeah. Could have, could have fought back. Okay, this time. Cute punches there. Each time. Chisora doesn't have to go in the corner, but he does. Ah! Boom! Boom! <laughs> oh my gosh! I could feel that almost. Oh, oh that just oh, no. looked like it really hurt. Can that? Oh, can he? Oh. Oh, there you go. Man. Oh, there's okay. the karate low kick. Okay, now, now it's gonna. Okay. It's still hurting, I'm sure. Okay. So Yoza wants to put more, more, put yeah, more pressure he's, on that. He's south pole, so he doesn't get kicked on that leg. Ah, now he's now he's angry. <laughs> now he's putting that energy somewhere onto Yoza's body. Okay, woo, woo. Tap it again. He's gonna try and tap it again. Yeah. Again. Not the calf. Oh, e ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. I haven't seen that in a long Whoa. time. <laughs> Definitely got that one. The winner there, Yuki Oza, bringing his Kyokushin spirit and skills. Nice, I like this. <laughs> Good on him. It's uh, like still looking on. So this is like karate guys, right? Mm. With wearing boxing gloves and doing kickboxing in K1. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that. In, in the K1 in these uh, lighter weights. Okay, yeah. When someone gets Whoa, taken ouch. down by a calf kick. Ah, yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> Very When you see it, painful. it looks so simple, right? Like, why True. would you not want to do that? Yeah. But no one does it. Why? Because it... Eee, ah, and then the second part, yeah, that was it. That was it for him. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Yeah, so that was a stop of Shinohara's here. It was on like a winning streak of uh, three wins. Uh, not, not so in this. That's like so game with his belt. Oh, yeah, this, uh, this young gentleman is definitely going for that belt. Mm. Or coming for it. You know, when they kick the calf, they actually hit the small bone on the side of the shin. I, 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 can, I can imagine and so, yeah. And that bone is actually not very strong. Ah. It can crack fairly easy. I've actually smashed mine and broken it twice. Twice? Yeah, by kicking my opponents. Yeah, because you're supposed to damage them, but you actually broke yours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It does happen. Because it's, it's pure bone against bone, I guess. And this, uh, we saw Shinohara limping off out of the ring. I mean, even though if it did crack, it doesn't it actually heals quite fast. Right. But when you say fast, how fast, Nick? Like. Well, I mean, you want to kind of fix it for at least you know three, four weeks, mm. two weeks at least, okay. in a cast, and then take it off. But then hey, you get back to work. Thank you very much. So, I want to say one thing. One thing is one thing. I want to say one thing. K1 を引っ張っていけるような存在になりたいと思ってます、えー、そのためにはやっぱりチャンピオンじゃないと始まらないと思うんで、まあ、あのそこにいる朝日選手、まあ、怪我治してタイトルかけて自分ともう一回戦ってくださいお願いします<笑>まあ<laughs> and we might have a, a rematch there between Asahisa. I think we know Asahisa determination on his eyes there. Hey man, I'll fight you any day. You won't be a winner. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you know what that does to someone? Just motivates them more. Yeah, it's going to be good. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 2022. And the K1 Featherweight World Tournament. This was Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.